My name is Hong Choing, and I head up the Alibaba Cloud Partner Ecosystem and Strategic Alliances. 2020 has been a pivotal year dominated by global pandemic and other natural disasters. So how do business survive or even thrive in this environment? Well, to help answer these questions, we have invited CXO from VMware, Deloitte, and MongoDB to share their perspectives on how they innovate and grow. So it is my pleasure to introduce to you my friend, Francis Yu from Deloitte, who will be moderating this panel to kick things off. Francis, over to you. Thank you, Han. I'm very excited to be here today and we have a very exciting panel today. My name is Francis Yu. At Deloitte, I focus on helping our clients to drive customer-centric transformation powered by digital and cloud. I also wear the hat as the lead alliance partner for our global Alibaba and Deloitte practice. I will be moderating the panel today. And as I reflect on our collective experience into 2020 thus far, I see the positive force of technology in times like this in elevating the human experiences, in keeping our physical, virtual, uh, and emotion safety. Deloitte just celebrated its 175th anniversary. Deloitte also, as a highly resilient brand, constantly innovates itself. Larry, as the global CIO, what are some of the key digital transformation initiatives that you, your organization have prioritized? Thank you, Francis. It's a pleasure to be here. My name is Larry Quinlan, and as you may have heard, I serve as the Global Chief Information Officer for Deloitte. We've been working on this digital transformation journey for a while, and that's been really important to us. As COVID-19 broke, it is true that a number of IT organizations, including our own, have really been lauded for the overnight reaction. The truth is it's not an overnight reaction. We've been focused on digitizing key areas of our business for quite some time. It starts with infrastructure, actually re-architecting the network, pivoting to the cloud. And we've done a number of important uh, cloud initiatives with a number of providers like Ali Cloud. We've also been thinking through the way we collaborate and really focused on taking our 300,000 people around the world and moving them to digital platforms to truly enable business process, but also to conquer the whole notion of time and space and work together around the world. Doing all of that is truly impactful for us and has really resulted in our ability to work virtually wherever we are. So we've definitely been focused on being nimble and, and we've had some of our priorities shift, but I do want to say we haven't shifted a lot of our priorities. There is this notion that perhaps a pandemic completely changes your focus. To be fair, we haven't been preparing for a pandemic, but we have been preparing for a virtual world. We have been preparing for years for a world where people weren't always together where they worked at client sites, where they worked across national borders, where they worked together and collaborated with uh, ecosystem partners all over the world. As a result, we're now accelerating some of our priorities, ensuring that we can focus on those that produce business value for us and help us serve our clients as effectively as we can, as well as take costs out of internal processes, but it's much more of an intensification than it is a shift. We're really looking at ensuring that we can deploy collaboration platforms worldwide. We're taking a number of our digital workbenches and making them even more robust, pivoting many of them to the cloud wherever possible while at the same time doing it a thoughtful way, given the regulatory environments around the world. 
we're absolutely making everything as mobile as we possibly can and automating all of the things that are necessary. But we believe to be nimble and to accomplish these things, there has to be a worldwide infrastructure that allows us to be responsive. Cloud is absolutely a fundamental part of that. Ensuring that we have capabilities like DevOps and DevSecOps are parts of that. But in order to enable it, working very closely with our people to ensure that we are completely focused on the role of our people and the experience of our people as we implement those capabilities. Thank you, Larry. What you said about Deloitte has been preparing for a virtual world really resonated with me. As we have seen, digital life is mimicking real life and how we interact in this virtual world as a community is really critical for us to build resiliency and build trust going forward. Now I would like to turn over to Alan from MongoDB. Alan, what are some of the key digital transformation initiatives that MongoDB has prioritized? Thanks, Francis, and thanks, Hong. My name is Alan Chabra, and I'm responsible for worldwide partners at MongoDB. And in my role, I connect customers around the world with a variety of our partners. And those partners include cloud providers like Alibaba, technology partners, system integrators, resellers, and some of the largest ISVs in the world. MongoDB is a data platform, and what we've found over the years is CXOs, they need to figure out how to manage data better. And the reason why is, as they become more digital and as they transform, they have found that data is both an opportunity to transform more effectively, but also can be a major blocker. And if you can't manage your data correctly, how can you become a digital company? A lot of these companies are trying to modernize their e-commerce platforms or their back-end payments platforms. A lot of these comp companies are looking to do analytics better, or they're looking basically to reduce costs and get off incumbent database technologies from the past. MongoDB has a platform that helps these CXOs unleash the power of data and improve their developers' productivity. Most of these enterprises rely on developers for a competitive advantage. A lot of these companies are becoming actually software companies where the developers are the ones that now hold the power. MongoDB gives those developers a data platform to develop software better to go deliver on those CXO's strategic initiatives. We have folks around the world that speak different languages in different time zones. We have a follow your son support model that also helps our customers, especially when they're remote. And finally, we have doubled down on partners. We, along with our partners, can help our customers. We're not gonna go it alone and vice versa. And this is why some of the great partners we have here on the panel, including Alibaba, who's hosting this event, we together will help our customers through these telling times, help them get to the cloud faster with a better ROI, and modernize along the way. This is why partnerships are very important for companies like MongoDB. Alan, that's really well said. And I really appreciate the comments you made about the power, the strength of partnership, of alliances. And that's why in times like this, where global is truly a connection of local communities, uh, we at Deloitte value this relationship with Alibaba Cloud as well. Our next panelist is Mark from VMware. VMware and Deloitte has been working together globally as alliance partners and helping our clients to accelerate their journey to the cloud. Mark, times like this, what has VMware prioritized as key digital transformation initiatives? Thanks, Francis. Uh, hi, my name is Mark Lohmeyer, and I'm the uh, GM for the Cloud Services BU at VMware. If you look at the core of VMware strategy, what we're looking to do is really provide a digital infrastructure that enables our customers' digital transformation, helping our customers migrate and modernize in the cloud. And again, if you think about both during the pandemic as well as we think post-pandemic, 
you know, really uh, digital customer experiences, right, are in many ways, uh, you know, winning, right? Um, and companies that can enable their end customers to interact with them in a digital way um, are going to be in a great position to put further distance between themselves and, uh, and their competitors. And of course, this trend was already underway before the pandemic, but I would say, you know, the pandemic has really uh, pushed the uh, turbocharge button on, uh, on this idea, right? And to be able to really, truly take advantage of that, uh, migrating and modernizing in the cloud is, is, is a fundamental enabler. And with our uh, VMware cloud capabilities that we can uh, enable for our customers in both public clouds as well as on-prem, we can significantly accelerate uh, the migration to the public cloud. We're an order of magnitude faster, less expensive, uh, and lower risk than any other way of moving to the moving to the public cloud. Um, and in fact, in this area, we're pleased to be partnering with Alibaba Cloud uh, uh, to enable these capabilities in, in, in the Alibaba Cloud infrastructure, as well as working with uh, with partners like Deloitte, who are of course here on the on the panel with us together to help our joint customers down that migrate and modernize journey. Thank you, Alan. Mark and Larry. As I reflect on what you just shared, it's a very thoughtful conversation. I think you have a common theme here. Larry, you talked about preparing for the new virtual world. Alan, you talked about the partners. And uh, Mark, you talked about acceleration of what we have always been preparing for. I think that collectively, we can really create new possibilities post-pandemic, setting a highly hopeful new normal. So thank you all. Thank you, Francis, and to our panelists. They say necessity is the mother of all inventions. We're seeing so much innovation and creativities in these times of needs. There's a saying, doing things right versus doing the right things. And this obviously falls under the latter category because it's also good business. At Alibaba, we say customer first, employee second, and shareholder third. These values have served us well over the years. I hope that you continue to thrive with your values 